Good morning, everybody. Hey there. I'm Jay Poe. I'm the owner and artist of The Purple Posy. I am a content creator for Dixie Bell Paint Company, and I'm a business coach and a creative mentor for my private membership group, Painting Over Borders. So that is all about me. Today, we're going to do, we're going to go back to a uh, super boho painting because it's, you know, it's my fave and that's what I wanted to do. And we're going to kind of prep this piece behind me to get ready to put a, a transfer on it. And I've not used the, um, the Latin floral transfer yet, uh, but I'm going to today and I'm going to show y'all how I'm, I use it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this off. So we kind of know where we're going, right? We see this right here. We know where we're going. I'm going to go ahead and take these off and set them to the side over here. There's one long cut out piece here. So there'll be one right here. Okay, so what I've done is I have come in with a French tip and I've applied some Plum Crazy. And I'm gonna show y'all how to get um, these little peekaboo colors to pop through, multi-color. You can do this with just one single color. I've done that a lot. Um, or you can do a whole bunch of different colors and get it, get it super colorful and different and pretty. Good morning from Tulsa. Uh, so the first color is Plum Crazy. Crazy. It's a beautiful uh, pinky purple color. We'll just go with that. And I'm gonna grab my French tip. Grab my French tip brush. So what I'm doing here is now this. I use the same brush for all the different colors, so it's a little bit muddled, but that is okay. I'm not worried about it. I'm just smushing in the Plum Crazy in all of the little crevices here. And I am going to come over the edges and the lips a little bit and kind of smooth it out. You don't want to um, you don't want to leave a big glob, which is you know can happen when you're doing this. So you get it right here, and you want to feather that out just a little bit. Y'all see what I did, just did there? You want to feather it out just a little bit. Otherwise, you're going to have like a big a big mess. So I'm just getting this on, and this is gonna go really, really fast. It's really quite simple to achieve that look that I showed you on the front. And it's not gonna be as, you know, as detailed over here, but we still wanna continue with kind of the same, you know, flow. Now this thick, this paint isn't on very thick, so I will blast it with the heat gun just super fast. Y'all know I hate using heat guns, but it is a must when doing this. All right, that's all the Plum Crazy I'm gonna use. That's all the, the Plum Crazy I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this away and we'll blast it with the heat gun. The other colors I'm using is Terracotta, Colonel Mustard, and Mermaid Tail. I was looking back at the pieces that I've um, debuted here recently and I was like, I have not done a turquoise piece in quite some time. So that's where we're at. That's why we're doing turquoise. You can flip flop these colors any way you want, whatever fits what you're trying to do. I think that's one of the beautiful things about the Latin florals. There's so many beautiful colors in there. You just pull, pull from the colors that are in there, which is what I did, and just have fun with it and play with it. Use all of the colors, just use them all. I mean, there's no rules, right? All right, so the next, next color is terracotta color of a terracotta plant plant pot pot good morning I see you guys jumping on y'all let me know you love the boho look me too Sonia it's my thing it's my jam got hashtag boho like jpo that's my thing all right so I am using the same brush I'm just gonna kind of wipe it off a little bit clean enough and I work out of the lid. I don't switch brushes and I work out of the lid. Don't yell at me. This is, so like if I make a super big mess with this lid, I can just wipe it out and I don't contaminate my, the, the color, okay? All right, so I'm gonna get just a little bit on my brush like this and I am just going to randomly swipe it in. It's still kind of wet in those creases and that's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it. I'm just gonna randomly throw some terracotta here and there and everywhere. Just wherever looks good. Has anybody here used the Latin floral? Have you used any of the bells and whistles transfers yet? Anybody who's going to use them? They're so fun. I'm not a transfer person at all. I think I might have 
one piece, one piece of furniture before Dixie Belle came out with these transfers. No two, I lied, two. No three, because I've used different brands. Um, and I just, I didn't care for them. They were hard to apply. But when they came out with these, I tried them and they're so easy. They are pretty much foolproof and they're beautiful. They're just absolutely beautiful designs. So simple, right? Just throw it, just throw it wherever you want. There's no rhyme or reason. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Hey, fellow Texan, you bought the lace. I have yet to use the lace and I'm excited about using lace. I have an idea on what I'm going to do with the lace, with the lace. Another Tulsa. Hey, Tulsa. All right. Wipe this off. Blast it with the heat gun. Now it's thicker in some spots, like in the crevices, and, and that's okay. I'm not gonna stress about it. It'll um, it'll blend just a little bit when I come in with the kernel mustard, but that's okay. It's okay. I just want to show y'all a different way to use the transfers with color instead of. Not that there's anything wrong with just doing a single color and putting a transfer on it, but I wanted color. I just finished up some farmhouse stools. Simple classy finish. And I did a super grungy door. And I'm getting ready to debut some pretty neutral grayish end tables, some vintage end tables. So I needed some color. All right, good enough. Now, Colonel Mustard, beautiful bright yellow mustard color. They're pretty genius on naming these colors, don't you think? <laughs> All right. Again, same brush, not gonna switch them out, just gonna work out of my lid. Pretty, pretty color. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now I'm, I'm mushing it like this so I can get into the crevices a little bit. I'm just gonna throw it in here randomly. I still want some of that plum crazy to poke through, so I'm not gonna cover up all of the plum crazy. Just randomly, and let's do a big blob right here. See, it blended a little bit with the plum crazy, but that's okay. It's still pretty, still pretty and bright. The goal is, is, so I want a nice clean palette, color palette for where the transfer is going. So it, so the colors that I'm using don't don't take away from the transfers, but it just, um, it kind of accentuates and like brings out the, the pops a little bit more. That's it, that's it, that's all I'm doing. Just a little bit, I lied. I'm gonna put some over here, put some right here. I blended with that terracotta, made kind of a coral color. That's pretty. That's pretty. Okay. Now that's it. Oh, hey, Malia. Hi. All right. That is it. Let me um, let me wrap up my brush. So when I'm done with my brushes, I know I'm going to use this again here in a little while. I'll just wrap it up in a baby wipe and then stick it like in a baggie to keep it moist so the uh, paint doesn't dry up on me. Uh, it's just what I do. It's just paint. You can paint over it if you do not like it. I think that's good. I think that's good. Now, I would typically get my Scarlet um, for an area this large, but I'm using a little bitty jar. I mean, I could put it on the plate, I guess, but I'm gonna grab a mini. I'm actually gonna grab an angled mini. Okay, and I'm gonna use that today. All right, so now we're gonna go in with Mermaid Tail. I love this color, it's so pretty. I did a buffet in Mermaid Tail and I actually put the copper glaze over it. Oh my gosh, so pretty. All right, so let me bring y'all in. So I can see what I'm doing real good. No one's freaking out? Okay, good. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. <laughs> I'm bringing y'all down. All right, so to get this, where remember the front if you missed if you missed the the beginning i showed the front and remember how that looked okay if you didn't you have to go back and watch the replay so what i do in order to do that is i deposit my paint 
in the center here, right? And then as the paint starts to come off, then I'll come over here on the sides and start applying it. So the majority of it goes where there's no color. And then I'll come down here and add it over my colors. Like so. I'm not using a whole, whole lot of paint. I'm spreading it out pretty good. And I didn't wet my brush. Typically, before I start painting, I wet my brush. I didn't wet my brush this time. Because I don't want the paint to move too, too much. It's, it's, a, it's pretty much a dry brush over the colorful areas. So you don't want the paint to run or do anything crazy. Now the first coat's gonna look a little crazy. It'll look like a colorful camo. That's all right. It's supposed to. Has anybody used any of these colors before? Who's gonna try this? This is a really fun to do. I love doing this technique. Now, what I do also on this first um, on this first coat, I really try hard not to cover hardly any of that the colors up. I really try to dry brush it because when I come in with my second coat, then I'll cover. I'm going to cover up even more, and you don't want to completely cover it up. So I really just try to dry brush over the color on the first coat. All right. I'm not worried about a super smooth texture either. This is a very chippy sort of look, so I'm not super concerned about um, getting a smooth finish. You can, but you don't have to. All right, let's spray this down real quick. Let's blast it with the heat gun. All right. Don't set your heat gun down where you're going to reach because it'll burn you. <laughs> I've always been so good, and last week I burned myself twice in the same spot. Not good. Okay, so we're going to come back in with the mermaid tail. Now, I am going to spritz it just a tiny bit. Continuous, um, just to make the paint move just a little bit on the centers here. Spread it out. I'm going to focus on the center first and get that good and covered. So this is just gonna be one flat color because it's gonna have so much color on it. I didn't wanna go overboard, like I said, and take away from the color of the, the colors of the transfer. All right, so I'm depositing, like I said, I'm depositing on the spots, not not over the color, but on the spots where I know I just want a flat, a flat color of the mermaid tail. And then we're gonna start dry brushing here in just a second. start dry brushing. Now you could you could you could just um, you know cover as much as you want or cover a lot of the color I'm sorry 
that you want with your um, your final go pass through like with this mermaid tail and then come in with like a, a wet shop rag or something and um, pull that mermaid tail back and expose some of the colors you could do that's another option that you can do if you just get over you go crazy and you get too much on here don't stress don't freak out you can always fix it see how fast this is going it's a super cool te technique and it doesn't take long at all I love 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 doing this especially if I have a piece with a lot of detail in it the front is absolutely gorgeous I'm like obsessed all right Get a, a little bit of that terracotta covered up, just a tad. I think I think that is. I think that's where I want it. And I'll bring you guys in before we start applying the transfer. I'll bring you all in, so y'all can see. And I'll show you the front again if you're just popping on. All right, let's get this dried. I'm going to cover this up. All right, let me let that sit for just a second, cool off just a tad. Whoa. Whoa. And then we'll take a look at it. Let me show you all the front. If you're just popping on, I'll go ahead and show you the front. I won't make you watch the replay. I'm going to go ahead and turn you around. So this is what I just did on the sides, uh, on the side here, and you can still see those little colors poking through. See, they're not gone. It looks gone on the camera, but they're not. I promise. Okay. And then here we are over here. Oh, let me focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, you can still see the color, especially when you come over here. Why is it not focusing? Still see the color, still see the color. Boom. All right. One way to tell if your paint is dry is, um, especially if you don't heat gun it, if you fill it and it's still a little cool, it's still wet, which this is still a little bit cool. How important it is to make sure your paint is dry before you put your transfer on. I wanna stress that. Like I said, I'm pushing it. Thank you, Marcy. That's very nice. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. So we're first going to come in with this big, large piece. This is just cut out from the the um, the four pieces that come with it. And like I said in the beginning, you can use the floral transfer to do one big picture transfer thing. Um, you can use the bottom half and then the bottom half somewhere else or whatever, you can cut it up. And that's what I'm doing, I've cut it up. So what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to place it right here and I want it to just kind of flow. But I want this part down here to be close to the lip. So I'm going to cut it. This is also risky business because it's so close to the paint. Okay, you can touch it up though. All right. I can't wait for this. Okay, so what you do is you simply <clears throat> remove, it's gonna come with this protective backing. Simply remove it. Try not to touch your transfer. Try not to. All right, so I'm gonna get this on. I want this flower to kinda go I'm gonna get in the way for a second. All right, I'm gonna smooth it on. Really good. Like so. 
and all of your transfers are going to come with this stick this burnishing stick it's a burnishing tool um, I will tell you that these are very very sturdy I've had sticks before that snap on me like 30 seconds into doing a transfer I can't even see oh my gosh sorry um, these are very sturdy all right so what you're going to want to do or what I always do is I just kind of go over it the whole thing just real quick to make sure it's good and down you can tape it if you want I don't ever tape which is why I do this but I just kind of go over the whole thing real quick and then you're going to want to start on the edge start on one corner one edge and just start rubbing away I'm hoping I didn't take too big of a risk I hope this paint's dry do as I say not as I do for the sake of these lives we do things that we're really not supposed to or that's not really good but it is risky. We take risks doing that. Now, when your transfer is adhered to your um, piece, do you see this little corner right here that's like white-ish? That, that lets you know that it's really adhered to the piece. It won't always look that way when it's adhered, but that is a real surefire way of knowing that it's on your piece. So what I do is once I get a corner going, I will lift as I go and burnish as I go. Because what happens is if you lift too fast, I have found if you lift too fast, it will stretch your transfer and then you'll have like a little wrinkle in there when you try to push it back down and go over it. You'll have a little wrinkle. So this is why I, I do it this way. I burnish as I go. really close to the edge I am working up a sweat because it is so hot I'm gonna whine about it okay sorry I'm just gonna whine about it <laughs> if you're up north and it's cold I will switch you in a heartbeat and you're probably wishing you had my weather You see how easy that's coming off? These transfers are so easy to use. In a perfect situation, a perfect world, I would you know let this dry on its own for a couple of hours before I put the transfer on, but it's doing quite nicely. With thin layers like that, you don't have to worry about it. Can y'all see real good how it's working? And I always come back for like 24 to 48 hours after my live and I'll read the comments and I'll answer questions as well. But if it's like 2024 and you're watching this, like please tag me in it or else I won't, I will not see it. Should put my hair up. Isn't that, that this is actually the side? No, this is the side. The front, the front's right here. This is the side of the piece. And I'm almost honestly, I'm almost thinking I might keep this piece for my office. Um, if I'm if I get the house that I've applied for and I'm wanting, they'll pray for me. Pray that I get it. Um, I'm gonna have to create my own little office space and I, I think I'm gonna use this for storage in my office. I appreciate your little prayers and any positive vibes that you might have. Appreciate that. Um, can you get these products in France? I don't know, but you can probably use that link and search for a retailer that way. Which just put your area in. I'm pretty sure that link is the same for anywhere you are in the world to find a retailer. Uh, Dixieville can correct me if I'm wrong. I know there's some products that 
with the um, like the patina line. Unfortunately, we can't carry in some areas overseas, but because of the laws or rules or whatever, I'm sure the transfers are just fine though. You know what I'm gonna do? Because that's annoying me. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it. It's gonna get in my way. How beautiful. God, can y'all see that? How beautiful. And also, um, I'll bring y'all in and y'all can see the, um, the halo on these transfers are very minimal. And honestly, when you top coat over them, uh, they go away. Now, let me get this up here done so I can... putting another sheet back here because I'm really close to the paint. I cut it off and somebody had a, like a fabulous idea, like it was genius, to put another of the clear sheets over it so I don't scratch the paint. That was like the most brilliant idea ever. Whew, y'all, I'm sweating. It's So it's, um, <laughs> in West Texas we normally have like 15 to uh, percent humidity. It was 89 this morning when I checked because it was so like stuffy. I'm dying. I, like, I can't. I can't take the humidity. I, I can't. I'm a baby. We get this transfer on, and then we're gonna take a look at it. I'm gonna show y'all again how I'm gonna place the other ones, and then I'll let you go. You can head on over to my page to see the full reveal. Appreciate it if you gave me a quick follow. I'm on all the social medias. If you're on there, come find me. The Purple Posy. Is there anybody here that's new to Dixie Bell? New to transfers? Beginner painter? Anybody? I've had some transfers where I actually just burnish with my fingernail to be quite honest with you. <laughs> Don't pass out, we always have, dude, it's, look at, I'm sweating. <laughs> it's so hot. I know, I'm gonna have to drink a ton of water today. I'm down here. Almost there, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so pretty. So pretty. Hair's probably in your way, I'm sorry. Once you get it started, like the edges, if it's more of a compound compound type of transfer, um, once you get the edge started, I'm sweating so bad. Uh, it usually goes faster because the edges are what you got to just make sure the edges are down and then it goes it's like pretty smooth sailing after that you just got to watch real close as you're lifting to make sure you don't miss any ends that may be hanging out all right, before I get too far, I'm gonna cut this off. Cut that off again. I'm gonna come down here. This is gonna be interesting. 
so close to the lip. Making sure I got that down. I'm concentrating. I'm still here. I'm quiet. Sorry, I got a call. And here we go. Bottom's coming off easier than I thought. I didn't think I'd be able to burnish real well in that corner, but it's, doing, it's taking it like a champ. Lordy. That's my workout for the day. <laughs> Look how pretty that is, though. It's pretty, right? Oh my gosh. All right, so after that, I'll come in usually with a, um, dropping everything, with like the spongy side of an applicator pad. And I'll burnish again. You know, you can do it with your fingers or whatever. Just make sure those edges are good and down. Oh, there's like a little piece of dirt. That's great. That's great. That's all right. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna bring y'all in so y'all can see. Now, the, like I said, the halo, or you can use a applicator sponge. I use the blue applicator sponge for lots of things. I'm gonna bring you guys in and show you that halo, quote unquote, See how minimal that is? It's very, very minimal. And when I come in and top coat, it will go away. You won't, you won't see it at all. Now on the, um, on the uh, transfers, I recommend just using the regular clear coats, clear coat flat, satin, or gloss. Um, no halo, right? Um, and then, so remember, the other pieces we're going to have on here, I'm going to have this one up here, like so, stay, and then I'm going to have this one right here. Now you can, like I cut this off, this butted up to something else, I cut that off. So you can, you can even see, you can do all sorts of things with these transfers, all right? Okay, well, if y'all have any questions, um, please tag me in the comments. And again, there's that link there for you guys. You can use it to find a local retailer. Um, and if you don't have one, you can order the products from that link and it'll ship right to your door and it helps my small business out. And I appreciate you guys when you use it. I think somebody asked what I was gonna do with the top. So on my tops, I typically don't have a plan for my tops until I get the body done. After I get the body done is when I'll go back and I'll take a look and stand back and decide what I want to do. I do know for sure on the hardware, I do know for sure what I'm doing. I will, um, it's these big mamma jammas. They're super cool and dirty. Uh, they go in the front like this. <laughs> for sure, I'm going to paint these um, amethyst, either amethyst or in the navy um, to go with these colors here. This is like an amethyst color. This is like an in the navy. There's not a whole lot of those colors in the front. Stay cool, and I'll see y'all then. Bye. Thanks 
so much for watching. If you like this video and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified when new videos are posted. Also, I typically put out a blog to show how I finish these pieces of furniture. If you head on over to my website, thepurpleposy.com, and sign up for the mailing list, you'll get notified when those blogs are posted as well.